Welcome back everyone. IHOP is canceling National Pancake Day this year, citing health and safety concerns for customers and workers. But the chain is offering an IOU, turning the day into a month-long chance to get a free short stack of buttermilk pancakes all throughout April. All you have to do is join their My Hop email club. And you'll get a coupon that can be redeemed for pancakes in person or to go. Retail spending surged in January. Shoppers flush with the latest round of stimulus money spent big. Retail sales leapt more than 5%. Economists were expecting slightly more than 1%. Spending gains were broad-based, with every major category showing increases. Electronics and appliances led the way, up nearly 15% for the month. Furniture and home furnishing stores were up 12%. E-commerce retailers jumped 11%. A new survey finds many couples are being unfaithful when it comes to money. Danya Backus looks at how some are committing financial infidelity. Stefan and Christina Cheney were married for a couple of years before they sat down and talked seriously about finances. I am spending how much on coffee? And you're spending how much on lunch? They decided to make monthly budgets, but sometimes there's a little cheating. When you hear the term financial infidelity, what do you think of that term? I love that term. Yeah. When I see a transaction in the account and we both have agreed on certain budgets, right? And I see something that has exceeded that. I'm like, this woman has betrayed me, right? In a new survey from creditcards.com, 40% of Americans admit committing financial infidelity. The most common offense is spending more money than their partner would be okay with. Others have secret credit cards or secret bank accounts. The most common reason people gave us was that they want privacy. They want to manage their own money. Ted Rossman from CreditCards.com says millennials are the most likely to commit financial infidelity, and it can often lead to a sense of betrayal. You think, hey, I really thought I knew this person, and they've been keeping the secret for so long, and... Chances are they're going to find out about it at some point. So I think communicating early and often is a good idea. The Cheneys say it's important to be open about spending. It's about just mutual respect and agreement and accountability being on the same page. And that's kept their marriage on the same page, too. Danya back is CBS News, Los Angeles. One in four people surveyed believe financial infidelity is worse than physical cheating. We'll have the latest on the COVID vaccine trials going on in children right after the break.